Hi Leo, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. And these are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Now, please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Leo, the person on Leo's mind, show me what they're hiding from Leo. What are they hiding from Leo? That was really fast. Okay, so we have the Fool, the Nine of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck right here. Um, they want to take a leap of faith with you, and they want this fresh new start. It's like they want to just do it, like jump all in, right? One foot in front of the other without thinking about it. But they've been through a lot where they're just exhausted of trying and getting hurt, trying and getting hurt. Um... So then they end up coming off as this cold, they end up getting, they've been hurt, so they come off cold, but they do have love to give, okay? So the Fool, the Nine of Wands, the King of Swords, and like I said, that Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck right here. They can come off as somebody who's like, I just, you know, I need to do the right thing. I have to be practical. I have to be logical about things. Um, and I don't want to get hurt, even though I have love to give. So even though they want to take this leap of faith with you, um, they're afraid that they will get hurt and it's all due to the logical side of things, but their intuition and their emotions are go for it. You know, you have love to give to Leo. Why, why hold back? But that King of Swords is really holding them back because they get into that mental state of, you know, this is what needs to happen because I can't just jump all in. That would be so reckless. Um, okay, I, it's, it's almost like they go back and forth, you know, like I'm going to do it. Okay. Maybe not. I'm not going to do it. Cause I've been thinking about it and today's not the day to do it. Uh, I'll just, you know, maybe tomorrow. So it's like every day is a, a new day to try and do this, you know, taking a leap of faith with you, but feeling guarded, feeling that they're going to be hurt and, um, not wanting to get hurt. So Okay, uh, I do have Aquarius energy as well as Sagittarius and um, I have Libra energy that comes out, Cancer and Scorpio that comes out as well. Let's go ahead and clarify the Fool. Queen of Pentacles comes out in reverse. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck right here. So the reason they're not taking this leap of faith is they feel like you are not really invested in them. Um, it's a lot. They feel like they have a lot of... Like you're really independent, Leo. Hey, you know, Leos are very independent people. Um, but the, also that, you know, they're you're not nurturing this relationship because you have too much going on in your life. And maybe even vice versa, you know, them wanting to take this leap of faith, like I'm going to do it because Leo's not doing it. Um, there's also something about them not feeling that they have a lot financially to give to you that even though they work really hard, they don't have what you have, something of that measure. Like, I don't know how I'm going to make this work with Leo. Um, and then also when it comes to relationships, um, you might not be seeing the important relationships around you. Why? Why? Because you're just so busy. Almost feeling like your plate is full. Now, is this just something that they tell themselves, you know, wanting to take this initiation, but feeling that, you know, oh, well, if Leo's not nurturing this because they're so busy and they got a lot going on, then why should I? 
um, kind of situation. And, you know, I do have um, Capricorn as well as uh, Virgo and more Sagittarius energy that comes out here. Let's go ahead and clarify that nine of wands. Okay, so we have the page of wands that comes out and the six of cups at the bottom of the deck right here. Are some of you talking to an ex of yours? Because if you are, this is why they're feeling like they're just going to get hurt. Um, so I do have your energy as well as Aries and Scorpio energy that comes out here. Their heart is guarded. They feel like you just want to have fun. Um... Their energy just comes off like they want to try, but then they don't want to try. Like if they try, they're going to end up getting hurt. Oh, I'm just going to keep my heart guarded and we're just going to have fun for right now because that's how it is. And, you know, I'll, I'll always have that memory with Leo. Also, some of you have known each other since childhood or you knew each other from childhood. Um, wanting to talk to you, wanting to reminisce on the memories that you share for some of you. Others of you, it's like they feel this is a past life love situation, um, that you are their past life lover and that you two had a relationship that feels very organic meeting first time, but, and it's a lot of fun, but their heart is closed off because they don't want to get hurt. So... All right, let's go ahead and clarify that King of Swords. Uh, it's interesting the way that this comes out, but hey, you know, people do things that they do. We have the Seven of Swords comes out in a 50-50 energy as well as the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, see, when they get into the state of, you know, logic and thinking about things, they feel like the right thing to do is not go backwards or not go in a direction where they feel they're going to deceive themselves so it's like they give up and it hurts there what is this you know i just there's a lot of when they get in that king of swords energy like no i'm just gonna you know focus on me i don't have time for love and i'll end up getting hurt and you know i want this and i really want leo but i can't go back to leo also some of you things had permanently ended between the two of you um Somebody's making ramen in the house and it smells so good. Sorry, I'm all hungry now. Yum. Uh, they've also been in trouble before with the law for, you know, theft or something like that. And they feel like you wouldn't um, like that about them, that it would be a turn off and you wouldn't want anything to do with them. They're trying to get out of that life, but still dealing with it. Maybe even like a, a DWI or something like that. doesn't have to actually be theft, but, you know, just dealings with um, law enforcement, which has led them to, you know, not being completely honest with you because they feel like it would permanently end things for some of you. Why is this person open and then closed off from you? It's so... It's the way it is, you know. But yeah, their logic of things is that I'm not going to sneak back or sneak towards Leo because if I do, it just wouldn't work. Why does that come out? It's almost like even if you're dealing with this person, they stop themselves because they're like, no, I can't go back to this. You know, I really want to, you know, go after Leo, but if I tell them how I feel, then it's not going to end good. Maybe they're going through a rough patch of their own. They need to figure things out. Let's get some uh, messages from this person on your mind. Whoa, Leo. Okay, so there's a couple of different things that come out. Um, First off, just being near you is intoxicating. Those of you dealing with this person, even if you're not with this person anymore, being around this, because, you know, I get so many different dynamics of some of you are dealing with this person. They're not being very open. Others of you, this is somebody that you knew from your past. Um, you shared a lot of memories together, but there was a lot of pain there. There were good times as well, uh, but 
you know, talking to you, just wanting to go after you. They're like, no, why, why do it? Um, cause they don't want to get hurt. They feel like, you know, that ended and, and can't go back to it. But being near you is intoxicating, whether it's a current situation or a past situation. Wow. Leo, I feel like you got a couple of people that are thinking about you. <laughs> They're like, hell yeah. Well, Leo, sorry. <laughs> Just being silly. All right. So I'm becoming a better person. Um, this is, you know, either I, I get like a person that is going through dealings with, uh, the law and trying not to break the law, trying to fix what happened to them and going through a rough time in their life. They're trying to get out of that rough time of their life. So you might not be talking to that person. If you are, you might not even know that they've gone through these things. It's always good to background check people, make sure that you see, you know, IDs that you have looked into somebody's situation and make sure that you are safe always. Okay. You're very intelligent. Don't dismiss your intuition when it's like raising red flags to you okay but also becoming a better person i feel that this person um you know you two had fun uh and there's memories that they have of you and them in the past but there was also some hurt things that happen but they're getting better or they're becoming better um and if they're with you and you're seeing this person but they're holding back they're trying to overcome you know the hurt and the pain that they've gone through and let those walls down by becoming a better person. They do love you. So I love you. Wow. That's really big. And that's very bold, especially if this is so new. Um, but this person is in love with you and they know that they're in love with you and that's not deception to them, but they feel like if they said something about it, it would end things or it's not the right time. And I don't know how to be strategic and really tell Leo that, um, Oh, I forgot to give you the last energies. I had uh, Aquarius and also Gemini energy that came out. I am not available. Um, so for some of you, this person who might not be talking to you right now, but you know, you two share memories together. Maybe you had a dream about them or thought about them recently. And that's who you're here for. And that person is not available, but yet they like, love you. They're becoming a better person. Being around you always makes them feel better. It's really intoxicating to be in your energy. Ooh, Leo, you would like, you are a strong drug for this person <laughs> in a good way. Um, I want to feel that way again. So there is something that happened between the two of you that felt amazing to them. They want to feel that way again. Wow. What is going on here? Not only that, if you're currently around this person, they love being around you, that they hold on to those memories that they make with you, but their heart is not open. Um, they feel like, well, we're just having fun. Leo is too busy. Leo isn't seeing me um, that way because they have a lot going on in their life. I don't want to get hurt, but I want to have a good time. I'm trying to stay optimistic. You know, I like that Leo shares certain things with me, but then getting in their thought space of, where they start to fall in love with you and that they love you, um, is where they, they're like, well, actually I shouldn't do that. I, you know, it wouldn't be the right move. I want to take that leap. I want to reach out to them. I want to tell them how I feel, but you know, not available to do so as well is because of, um, them being in their, their logical space of it's, it's not right to do it for whatever reason they have going on, um, things going on, even especially if they're dealing with um, situations where they got in trouble with the law in some way. So Leo, this is what I have for you. This was a very interesting reading. If it resonates with your situation, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.